One of the people that we met with in East St. Louis early on was from the a local um, clinic. And I asked her the question, what about your environment needs to be fixed? Fully intending that the answer would be some, something along the lines of, oh, air toxics or non-point source pollution run off into the Mississippi River. And she looked at me and her eyes watered up and she said, my, the people that come into the clinic complain most about rats coming into their house and biting their children while they're asleep. And she went on to say, tell me stories about how many children she has seen with rat bites on them. And it became, it was, it was clear very early on to me from that single interview that a couple things. First, that what, what we typically address under the laws and regulations of the Environmental Protection Agency didn't really mean much to the people in East St. Louis. Their, their concerns were so much more immediate. They have rats, um, their sewers are overflowing, you know, just more base th issues that you thought had already been addressed. You didn't even think these conditions existed. And it, it just became very clear that even though the EPA doesn't have, we don't have a rat program, we don't have an abandoned house program, How, abandoned housing is another great concern to people in East St. Louis, that our responsibility didn't stop there. I couldn't just say to this nurse, you know, the woman who's running this clinic, I'm sorry we don't deal with rats and walk away from her. I, that was just, I could not do that. So we, we came back to the office and said, well, what are we going to do? And we realized that what we can do is act as a facilitator or a convener and pull people to the table who do have rat programs, who do have abandoned wait, hazardous, um, excuse me, abandoned housing programs. Um, so we've built partnerships with the Illinois Department of Public Health. We've built partnerships with um, HUD, Housing and Urban Development. So just because a, a, per, a, a, a an issue arises that isn't something that the EPA directly can control or address doesn't mean that that's where our responsibility ends.